He's on the charge. That'll go for four. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. Lovely uh, little sweep on one knee, and suddenly we've got our third boundary here this evening. Musman has been driven back down the ground. Fourth boundary. Yeah, they're turning up in the power play of these two in blue. Up and over. Yeah, it's a lovely way to finish the over for Sri Lanka. So, uh, 10 from it, 4 down, it's 26 without loss. Oh, pickup shot, brilliantly played. 6! What a strike! On the pads and in motion, the left-hander has played a great shot. Inside our drive, that's hit hard. Chance of a run-out, direct hit, they're appealing for a run-out here. Well, we know that direct hits could be lethal. And it's Imad Vaseem who's uprooted the stumps and Hafiz has already given this as out. But we'll wait. Well, I get the feeling that it will be very tight because he was veering away, he was not running straight. I wish we could see that. Yes, yes, I always thought that because he was struggling. He was not running straight, he was running at an angle. So that, that just makes it a little bit too longer for him. And also, he just ran with the shot, it was hit too firmly, well shot, well shot of the crease. Yeah, just when he was shaping up well, he's thrown his wicket away. Not extremely quick between the wickets. Plenty of joy for the Pakistani fans, so first wicket is down. Sri Lankans have uh, lost an aggressive Manuera. Run out for 19 from 20. Is, uh, is threatening to, to take Pakistan to cleaners, not to be. 43 for one, Sri Lanka. Gets it fine, gets it away from the deep square league fielder. So, a good start to the over for Gunatilaka. Here he goes over extra cover. In fact, it will go all the way to the boundary. That's a welcome boundary. Excellent shot by Sadira Samarikrama. This time he gets it through mid-wicket. In fact, it is Shezad again. Can't cut it off. So this is turning out to be a very useful over. They've got 11 runs already. Kunatilakon, 49. Will be his first uh, T20 half-century. How easy it is. And, well, he manages to make it. Important knock for Danushka Gunatilaka. 50 of 46 balls. Four balls and a six. Very, very good knock indeed. Over mid record. That's a boundary. The Sri Lankan 100 is up. This is in the 16th over. Samara Vikrama gets his second boundary. Crazy, is it? Has to be. Didn't even need to come upstairs. And we've got another run out on our hands. Manawera was run out. And now, time for Sidera. So he's got to go. Sidera. Yeah, he's out of here for 32. It's 106 for two. Oh, there you go. Ha, can't keep him out of the game. The smile on the dial says it all. A single as a direct hit, and I tell you what, the skipper and Prasanna could be seen here with another run out. Is this the third one? He got the big dive in, Danny. Just not confident. 
because just like Dilshan Munawira, he went at an angle. Now you watch, he's short. That's a big one and the second wicket Sri Lanka have lost because the batsman, they went in on the angle. The shortest way between two points, straight lines. Sri Lankan batsman struggling with it. And Roshan Amasinghe has left the building. He can't believe there's the third one. We said it was out, Roche, and guess what? It is! O-U-T! Fourth one down, unbelievable, with the run out here, Sri Lanka. Ah, oh, frustration. One of the strikers has gone for just a single. Prasanna back for an early shower. It's 109 for four here. That's in the air. Could it be five? Yes, it is. It's the substitute again in the thick of things. Holy moly! Want to see a replay of this? Yeah, celebration. Hassan Ali, sixth one down now. Oh yeah, look out. Got the tennis ball arms on. Ah, he's pumped. Oh dear. And guess what? Oh, there's another one! Baba Razum, take a bow running around the boundary. Sri Lanka, they could get bowled out again here tonight. Well, Paterana is uh, out in the centre here, about to face a hat-trick ball. No Pakistani bowler has got a T20 hat-trick. Very unlucky. Mile Udawatta. Good catch, very good catch. He come in initially, but then he picked it up. Good running catch. Here we go. Oh, that's out. They'll give it. Da, oh, you better believe it. That's a hat trick. First ever for a Pakistani in this fabulous format. And it's Fahim. Da, oh, ripper. Up, up and away. And there's number nine. And guess who it is? Nawaz in the thick of it. Last ball is a dot one. So the Sri Lankan innings is wrapped up here because of the 20 overs and almost for the wickets. Bowled out last night, nine down here tonight, and slightly better than their 102. They've got to 124 for nine here in this second T20 International. The Pakistan were under pressure, but they still found answers. The fielding just didn't drop away. And a hat trick, a first hat trick for a Pakistani bowler in T20 cricket. I can't hear you, Rick. Gunatilaka brilliant at the top. 51 or 48, and he got out at the wrong time. Munavira ran at an angle. He gave a good start and a, a wonderful partnership with Sadira Samarikraman. 32 or 31, and then the inning started falling away. Really didn't go anywhere. 124 for nine. And the bowling card dominated by the uh, second half of it. Hassan Ali there, Fahim, shut up. Very good indeed, and uh, even uh, Muhammad Afiz uh, halting things a little bit there and asking questions. Uh, Usman Khan, he's uh, got a back niggly and he bowled two overs, had to go off. And uh, Ahmad Wazin bowled beautifully too at the top with his left arm orthodox. Radio, the equation, just 125 and 120 balls, it's just over sixes.
pace on the ball and smashed through the offside. Lovely shot, checked it, and it will go for four this one. Hundred and two from hundred and two deliveries. Lovely dab. So now Shazad, who's gone into double figures, has now gone to 16, courtesy of this lovely little backward dab to wide third man. Into that onside and ah, good stuff. Should have done it. Oh! I think that's out. I reckon. Shazab's going to come upstairs and ask Asan Raza in the hot seat, the TMO upstairs. But it looks from the naked eye that Zaman is struggling. What's going on? Runouts again. Good piece of fielding. Udana at the boundary, but. It's been a game of runouts, and this looks like another one. Sold the dummy from Emma Shazad, Fakhar Zaman. Has to walk back. Oh dear. Time for a bit of O U T. See you, see you later, Fakhar Zaman. Gone for 11. Early shower, and it's now 30 for one. So uh, missing off, certainly. Are oh, you joking? Holy, I've got to hand this over to Rami's Raja. I'm out of here. And Barber is out of there as well. Well, I thought is uh, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't as substantial as it appeared to be from captain uh, from the umpire's point of view, but he's gone a tad unlucky. Thirty-one for two. Got him. Wicket. Ahmed Shazad has to go. He's surprised. But a well-timed leap by Dasun Shanaka and Sri Lanka have picked up a third. Edge gone. It's Shoik Malik. That's the fourth. Now the pressure's on. Big wicket, massive. Shoik Malik, most experienced. Batted brilliantly last night, but today Shara Pereira gets him for nine. Pakistan now four down. 55. Oh, beautiful. Gave himself room, and Udana followed Safraz, but he was equal to the occasion. And that has been met, but not good enough. The captain has got in the way here. Oh, that's given. Finger is raised. That's, I think, a very good call. Yeah, he took a lot of risk. Went against the line of the ball, trying to play the square leg shot. And so, dead in front of the stumps. If that ball didn't hit part of his bat, he was absolutely gone. Leg before for two. Sri Lanka, six wickets to the bowlers. And three to Pereira, 100 for six Pakistan. He's rushing back for the second. I think he's, he's found wanting. I think they've got Safraz. He's gone for a review. Safraz with a full length dive. And I think we'll see that he'll be surprised by this flat return from the deep. 
Right then, decision pending, and this is a big moment in this contest. It was Safraz who wanted to. The dive, dive is not working. It's not working for Pakistan. That's a massive wicket. Bails off. He is well short of his crease, Safraz. I think Pakistan got to have a look at that out sign. That is out. Huge wicket, massive wicket. The yeah, I was surprised by that return. He wasn't expecting this. The dive came in a, a bit too late for Safraz, but what a scalp for the Sri Lankans. They've been red hot in the field. Fifth run out of the evening, by the way. Safraz, the latest casualty. Gone for 28, 104 for 7. Shadab Khan is in. He's on strike. Nice and full. Gets it through. What a shot to get off the mark. Pakistan still very much in the hunt to track down this target. 17 of 13. Right then, last over. Six balls. 12 to get. First ball. Gets picked off and taken. Admiron is carried all the way. What a start to the over. Hassan Ali is on strike. Uh, it's, a, it's gone up in the air, another chance. Oh, he drops it. Well, he had plenty of time to see it. He's running back for the third. A bit of an anticlimax there. Hassan Ali is, uh, is a little disappointed because he wanted more chunk out of his uh, bat for that shot, but it was dropped. This really should have been taken. Yeah, that could be very costly drop. It was in the range, he wanted to make it pretty, I would say. Not only drop the catch, that's three runs. The slippery ball, I would say. Guna Teleka there. Not uh, helping Sri Lanka's cause. Shadab hits it straight, it's six! Wow, what a shot under pressure! This will settle a lot of nerves. He's all pumped up, now it's Pakistan's turn. To surprise Sri Lanka, look at the expressions, how quickly they've changed things. What a shot, straight six from Shadab in the slot, and he absolutely nailed it. Wow, that was in the zone. He sat back in the crease, and look at that shot. Good, full face of the bat, and hit it nice and straight. Long boundary, went all the way. Game changer. 14 from 7. What a shot to produce such a scintillating drive in such a tough scenario. Pakistan were up against the wall. Two great deliveries to start the over, and then that drop chance really marring their chances. Three meant that Shada was on strike, and boom, he went straight. For six, there we go, two needed off two balls. He pushes it. Hassan Ali will come back for the second. Tremendous achievement by Pakistan. Built around two brilliant young batsmen and cricketers. Hassan Ali with three, Shadab, 16 not out. Pakistan, once again, on the day, better than the Sri Lankans. They held their nerve. Safraz is ecstatic. They win the series, two not. What an end to a wonderful game of cricket. T20 at its very best. Fans, well, they were under a lot of pressure. There were tensions in the aisles. And so in the end, it was Shadab Khan who kept his cool and played a great hand in taking Pakistan over the line. Pakistan winning the series. And Pereira, well, spared a thought for him. He led a young brigade and almost was successful in uh, in uh, winning this contest pakistan courtesy shada win this of the second last ball so 
and Shazad, he wanted to kick on. He got the 27, so he has had time at the crease. And uh, when you look, you have to scale on down to uh, Hafiz's 14 with Safra's 28. They had a nice little partnership that made things look quite comfortable. And all of a sudden, Skipper got run out. Then there was uh, Ahmad Wazim LBW to Pereira for just two. And then uh, Fahim getting out, caught in the deep by uh, Ganatalaka for four. And then it was shut up in the end. Got him with a beauty, hit a six to really change the finale of this outcome. So wicket's not enough for them. You look at Pereira, that three for the skipper. Patarana, he got a, he got a wicket. Udana got a wicket. And uh, Sanjaya, he got a wicket too. But really, something else of substance, just a little bit earlier in the contents of this game would have been good. So in summary, the second T20 international between Sri Lanka and Pakistan has allowed Pakistan to get up by the skin of their teeth. Two wickets and a ball to spare to lead the three-match series to zip.